Bank on Yourself for Seniors, Part 2, Examples from Bank on Yourself. If you missed our description of what a Bank on Yourself for Seniors plan is and how it works, be sure to check out Part 1 of this two-part series on a safe and proven wealth-building strategy for those between the ages of 60 and 85. Right now, let's see several ways a Bank on Yourself for Seniors plan could look in action. This is Jane Smith. Jane starts a Bank on Yourself for Seniors single premium dividend paying whole life plan with $100,000 when she's 62 years old. And she never puts in another dime. Five years later, when she's 67, Jane starts taking 5.25% of her original $100,000 annually to supplement her living expenses. That's $5,250 every single year for the rest of her life. If Jane passes away at age 90, she will have received $126,000 of income, and her loved ones will receive an income tax-free death benefit of more than $105,000, all without the risk or volatility of stocks, real estate, and other investments. So, Jane's purchase of a Bank on Yourself for Seniors policy gives her living benefits of more than $126,000 and gives her loved ones and favorite charities more than $105,000 for a total of more than $231,000, all based on that one payment of $100,000. And, and this is important, Jane has peace of mind, knowing she has a long-term or home health care benefit of $2,000 per month for 36 months, if she needs it. Here's another example. Juan Garcia is 70 years old, and he has a problem. He has $200,000 in his IRA, earning 2% interest each year. And the IRS says he's going to have to start taking required minimum distributions next year, and paying taxes on each withdrawal. Well, that's a problem because Juan doesn't need or want to withdraw the money and pay taxes on it. He wants to leave it as a legacy for his children and his grandchildren. But if he leaves his money in his IRA, next year his RMD, his required minimum distribution, will be $7,300 on which he'll have to pay income tax. The year he turns 85, the IRS says he'll have to withdraw $8,600 and pay taxes on that. Now, if Juan should pass away within this year, his family will have to pay taxes on the entire $200,000. That might net his family $144,000, or less if they're in a high tax bracket. If instead Juan passes away 10 years from now, his $200,000 IRA will have dwindled to $156,000. After paying income tax, his family would receive only $112,000. And if he lives to age 90, his beneficiaries will receive less than $70,000 of Juan's original $200,000 legacy. Bank on Yourself for Seniors offers the solutions Juan needs. One solution would be for Juan to pay the income tax on his $200,000 IRA now and put his after-tax balance of $144,000 into a Bank on Yourself for Seniors plan. That would create an immediate legacy of $211,000 for his children and grandkids. That's more than the $200,000 he had in his IRA. And it will go to his family with no income taxes due on it. Plus, Juan will have $4,000 per month available for long-term care or home health care for up to 36 months, if he needs it. If Juan leaves his money in his IRA, the balance available to his beneficiaries goes down every year, and it's taxable. But in a Bank on Yourself for Seniors plan, his projected legacy actually goes up every year, and it's income tax-free to his beneficiaries. For example, in 10 years, there would be a death benefit of $260,000. But if Juan should need income, he can begin withdrawing 5 to 6% of his nearly $200,000 cash value each year. In 20 years, the income tax-free legacy for Juan's family will be nearly $340,000. And again, if he needs income, he can start withdrawing some of his projected cash value of almost $295,000.
Which legacy would you prefer to leave for your family at age 90? $70,000 from your IRA or nearly $340,000 from your bank on your self-plan? And there are still other alternatives. For example, if you're taking money out of a qualified retirement plan and you don't want to pay the taxes all at once now, you could take your RMDs each year and pay the taxes on them, then put the balance into a traditional bank on yourself plan for your spouse, your children or grandchildren, or some other beneficiary, even a favorite church or charity. Each plan is custom tailored just for you, based on your specific situation which is why you want to speak to a specially trained Bank on Yourself authorized advisor. As you can see, there are many, many different ways a Bank on Yourself for Seniors plan can be set up. Your plan will be based on your personal situation, needs, and goals. So, are you frustrated by having your money in low interest rate accounts growing slower than molasses? Or having money you can no longer afford to risk in the market? Are you tired of all the restrictions and penalties in your retirement accounts? Find out how much income and peace of mind a custom-tailored Bank on Yourself or Seniors plan can give you. Request a free, no-obligation analysis and find out. You'll also receive a referral to one of only 200 advisors in the country who have met the rigorous requirements to be a Bank on Yourself authorized advisor. Your Bank on Yourself Authorized Advisor will help you determine whether a traditional Bank on Yourself policy or a Bank on Yourself for Seniors policy best fits your needs. They'll structure your policy properly so the growth is maximized. They'll recommend one of the handful of life insurance companies that offers policies that have all the features needed to take full advantage of the power of this concept. It's fast and easy to request your free no-obligation analysis today at bankonyourself.com. Just click the Request Your Free Analysis button. That's bankonyourself.com and request your free analysis. Music